Hello, Pastor Eli Leitzow again, coming to you in January, uh, continuing uh, this short little series. I think we're only going to have about three sessions, but it's talking about the things of life. And uh, today I want to just talk about uh, how we can, you can, we as individuals can kind of get engaged in helping and serving our neighbors. Uh, because I think, unfortunately, a lot of times uh, the church as a whole uh, gets uh, pigeonholed into this place of we only speak about the negative, meaning this, we'll only speak against abortion, we'll only speak uh, uh, against that sort of stuff, but we never have any options, we never have any helping hand act actually put forward. So when we're telling somebody they can't get abortion, then we're running away from them when they still have that that woman still has to have her baby and we're saying oh no no that's your that's your business but you're not allowed to abort now i don't know if that's right or wrong but i think uh, it, at least that's the perception that's out there in society if that's the perception that's out there in society then i think we have to change it i think we have to as individuals as individual congregations actually show and share the love of christ that's what we're called to do especially to those uh, who are hurting, to those uh, who are covered in shame, to those who uh, are, are uh, deciding what to do that's going to change their life uh, inevitably one way or the other. We need to be able to, to speak Christ's love to them, and we need to be able to reach out a helping hand, temporally speaking, in time and place. So maybe your congregation has something like this. Maybe your congregation kind of has a soup kitchen type thing or is tied to a crisis uh, pregnancy center Maybe all that's there, and, and that's good. If so, seek those things out and, and, and jump into them. I encourage you to do so. Uh, those are wonderful things that we can do. Uh, maybe your congregation uh, attends life rally marches. Uh, we'll go to Planned Parenthood and, 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 and not stand up there with a, with a crazy sign that, uh, telling uh, these mothers that they're going to hell, but instead uh, praying for them and, and singing the, the psalms together and, and asking for forgiveness for these women and for these doctors and these medical workers too. If that's what your congregation does, and that's something that, that you feel that, that you could uh, help along with, uh, then go for it. That would be great. If they don't, and that's something you want to do, you know, we've got, I think, two different times during the year. We've got these uh, uh, 40 days of lifetime, uh, once in September-ish, and then once during the season of Lent. Those would be great times to be able to start those up. Or maybe you go to the, the Life March uh, in D.C. on January 22nd every single year, or in your own home uh, city or town. Those are all options. Um, and then there's other options about actually starting something within your home congregation, uh, starting a connection with a, with a prices, uh, uh, sorry, crisis pregnancy center, starting a connection with the food bank, starting a connection with fill in the blank, maybe uh, in the basement of your church, actually opening up a little shop for uh, moms who need help with clothing and diapers and baby food and that sort of stuff. All of that's good. And it's great for us to actually as congregations do. But then you wonder, well, where in the world are we going to get the money for that? Uh, my congregation's kind of strapped and I'm just a 16-year-old kid. I don't know where to go. Well, the Luther Church Missouri Synod uh, has actually just put out, I, I, I know that your pastors have gotten the email, hopefully they've read it. Um, uh, it happened in December. We got a, an email from President uh, Harrison uh, of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod saying that uh, starting in January, there's going to be matching funds, million dollars worth of matching funds for life. So congregations can team up with these pregnancy centers, with starting their own sort of stuff, through reaching out to serve their neighbors for the good of their neighbor and in, in regards to the things of life. And if the congregation is able to put X amount of dollars down and they receive this grant, they're going to double that. Lutheran Church Missouri Synod is going to uh, match that grant. This is a wonderful opportunity. If you've got something on your mind, but you, you never started to implement it, pastors, if you do, uh, teenagers, if you do, parents, if you have, uh, this is an opportunity for you to actually run with it now. Go and talk to your pastor. Uh, uh, go on the LCMS website. Take a look at this. These are all good things for us to actually serve our neighbor and share the love of Christ to those who are hurting around us. I hope this was helpful. Um, I don't even know really what I'm doing here, but uh, goodness, hopefully this was good. Um, so the Lord be with you. Till next time. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe 
to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.